But uh, this offset dude, I ain't going to leave him out. You know, I'm just real like this, you know, because, you know, you know, niggas be throwing rocks and hiding their hand, right? They be throwing rocks and hiding their hand. And uh, I don't like them kind of individuals, you know. And, and the truth of the matter is, you know, one can can dance and different things in front of these different cameras and, and all that kind of shit. And, and, re, and, and when reality, the truth of the matter is, you know, nigga, you wasn't really right there would take off when he was alive. You know what I mean? So for you to be taking these positions that you taking, you know what I mean? And I, I got people everywhere, so I hear all kinds of things. Uh, I'm going to just say this to you. Uh, I'm going to just say this to you. Uh, don't never put me in no position where you know, I have to defend myself. You know what I mean? That wouldn't be healthy for you. And, you know, I, I have to say that. I hate, but it's a million dollars worth of game. You know what I mean? It's a million dollars worth of game, and I'm going to give it to him right on a million dollars worth of game because I ain't going to throw rocks and hide my hand. I'm going to just let it be known, you know, to him because I hear what's being said. And uh, it's all love after that. Peace. Off them, whatever his name may be, you know, he he giving all kinds of statements on this police report we have, so we can read his name and everything, because he put himself in a position where uh, he's cooperating and telling a lot of different lies. So we may as well shine a light on the real root to the issue, which is which is this homie. You know what I mean? Oh man, now listen, Jay Prince Sr., we know he's an old school individual and he moves by the old law, but I think in this situation right here that this isn't the way that I would advise you to move. Why do I say that? Because what he is doing at this point is making a subtle threat through the internet through a podcast now if you hate him you gonna say why well, put that shit out there out loud like that you know what i'm saying like is you putting that out there so people could be aware that you know saying it might be some drama coming your way and if you fuck with him you're gonna be like shit that's just an og move like he just giving a proper roll call like letting you know i've said look yo i'm hearing things through the wire you know what i'm saying so y'all seen the video i'm gonna give y'all a translation of basically what he said he's basically saying this he offset. I'm hearing things. I'm hearing you want things done to my family. I'm hearing that y'all want to harm me or that you want some get back for takeoff. But what I'm going to tell you is I stay prepared. You know my reputation. I'm Jay Prince. So don't get yourself hurt. That's essentially what he said. Y'all seen the video. Now. Let me see. Let, let me tell y'all what I think about this situation. I'm going to look at it two ways. Jay, and, 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 and let me say this. Being that I am a Gwinnett County North nigga, the same as the Migos, like I've seen them around the way. We went to school together. There's a lot going on. I'm going to try to be very unbiased, right? What I will say, if Offset is saying things behind the scene and it's something with an act of violence, then I definitely understand where Jay Prince is coming from. Also, you got to be careful who you talking to, things you saying, because it could mean you more harm than good. You know what I mean? Like, it's, that's never the right way to go about it. Um, But I do think that Jay Prince, you're wrong for in the video saying, hey, you wasn't even with takeoff when the situation happened. As if that means something. Where was you at? You wasn't there. But you're doing the most talking. You're doing the most discussion. You're discussing this situation the most out of everybody. you trying to say what your son was and wasn't doing. So the same way that you're trying to disqualify Offset for not being around the scene and maybe not being all the way cool at the situation and being broken up from the Migos, you have no right to say anything as well. So that already right there cancels out things to me. Two, 
I think that the Prince family, I don't know, at this point, I'm starting to think y'all deliberately have the worst timing that I've ever seen. You know, just the way that y'all move, your son been doing little little sneaky shit, saying little sneak disses, and today is the night of the Grammys where Takeoff is being tributed by his uncle, another member in the group, and you know that Million Dollars Worth of Game comes on on a Sunday. So are we being strategic? Or are y'all just trying to clear your name? Because if you were trying to clear your name, you wouldn't even be addressing this publicly. I thought that you were a man of respect and everything you do is about respect. But where's the respect when it comes to takeoff? The same person that you discussed where you brought, you put flowers and you didn't even say basically RIP to takeoff. You said from the Prince family. It seems like y'all are just a bunch of egotistical bastards who think that y'all are like the nigga mob. You know what I mean? You think that y'all are just um, invincible when in actuality, like your timing is bad. It's ignorant. It's very self-centered and there's no respect being shown on y'all way. That's just my personal opinion. Now, I do think if Offset, like I said, if Offset is saying something behind the scenes, that's probably I would say um, saying and inciting that he wants to do something about revenge, violence, whatever, you definitely have a right to defend yourself. You putting this out on the internet, I'm not sure. Like, rappers is catching recalls and all of this. Like, is this something that needs to be brought to the internet? Could this not be cleared up behind the scenes? Because usually you're the peacemaker. But it's coming out more that uh, maybe that's not what you really are. So... And I'm also thinking like, yo, Gillian Wallow, this is what we this is what we doing now, y'all. Is this worth the ratings? Are y'all putting this out here for the ratings? Like cause if this is about de-escalating the situation and trying to make amends and y'all don't want to see black men hurt each other and black men die. And usually I definitely know that's Wallow's position. What are we doing here? Why are we addressing this on the Internet? Why can't there be phone calls made? So I just want to put that out there. Like, I think that everybody's moving wrong in this situation and there could be uh, terrible consequences to this situation when it all comes down to it. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. And we out, baby. Boom. Daddy channel. Subscribe for Daddy channel.